Are you keeping check on me now? No, no. Just making sure everything's on track. What your mother doesn't know. Yeah, it won't hurt her. I know, I know. All ready for Monday morning. Well, runaway van and pregnant women permitting, obviously. We'll be right. <laughs> Weather like this, passing trade, out for a run. Might be a different story come November, mine. Oh, thanks for that cheery note of optimism, Doug. Let's hope we don't have to lay anybody off come November. I talk like it's a big joke. Money. How's it been going in the outside world? No idea. I spent most of the morning shifting money around the internet. I'm glad you've been keeping up with your exercise. Exactly. <laughs> I thought I might carry it on by uh, sharing a beer or two with my son and heir after work. You mean like a lad's night out or something? Well, I was thinking more lad's night in, so neither of us has to drive. Catch the last hour of the cricket? T to be honest, I was going to ask Ryan if he wanted to go into town for a couple. Yeah, but uh, if you haven't already spoken to him... Uh, you can come if you want. I thought it might be nice, you know, for a change. Since when have I been into cricket? can sit down, you know. She's not going to run off. Is it me? Or does she look a bit... creased up? You'd look creased up if you'd been through what she'd been through. Honestly, Mr King, she's doing smashing. Go and get a brew while I see to a chart. Well, if I could get a large brandy, yeah. Otherwise, I'm stopping right here. I'll see if we can get it you on a drip and your match. What about the jaundice? You get that a lot first few days. Yeah, but what if it gets worse? I mean, she's not as old as she should be, is she? She's not the first prem baby ever, you know. You'd be surprised. They're tough as old boots, aren't you, love? Yeah, but what if... Does she honestly look right to you? She looks like a father. I'll give her that. When's the doctor due? Any time. Tell you what, between now and then, try coming up with a name for her. It doesn't half help later on. Come on. Don't tell me you're not going to miss having a man around the place. David's hardly what someone my age would call a man. He's only just learned to put the toilet seat down. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. Uh, I spoke to the hospital. They said the best time to visit is tea time, so would you be able to knock off a bit early? How are they getting on? Well, uh, why don't you come and see for yourself, Edna? Come with us. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Oh, come on, Jimmy's bound to get all teary and start making poetic speeches. We're going to need all the witnesses we can get. I think he's entitled to be a bit emotional, don't you? He phoned earlier on. Oh, Carl, it's got arms and legs and everything. I hope he said she, not it. It would be nice to take a look at the poor little thing. Mm, little's right. You want to see her? She's tiny. Well, I'm not surprised coming that early. Have they managed to give her a name yet? Maybe it's about time we had a new Edna. This one plans on sticking around for quite a while yet, thank you. <laughs> right. I'll see you later. It's going to be all day on that, but the new lock's on, and I've left another set under the counter for emergencies. <laughs> Not that we have any, eh? Well, I'll have another couple cut for Layla and Rodney before Monday. Good. So nobody's ever going to know it's been kicked in, right? Hey, just the man. Where have you been? Some of us have got proper jobs. <laughs> Look, mate, how are you set for a beer later? Might even get my dad along, if only to provide the wallet. Uh, I've got plans, mate. Sorry. Come on, mate, I'm joking. Look, he's not going to last five minutes in the places we're going to. <laughs> Even if he gets in at all. Yeah, um, I forgot. I, I'm meeting some friends in Leeds. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Well, looks like the cricket then. Yeah, if you're staying in watching telly, then I'm going to go to the pub. Fine. We'll do both. Why don't I take her up to Leeds while you get yourself sorted? How would you go on holiday and end up more knackered when you get back? Two weeks on my own with a kid in Skegness. I'd be on life support by now. <laughs> right. Oh, come on, shorty, let's go. Say see you to mummy. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> Oh, 
think twice before I put myself through that again. Oh. How long have I been asleep? About a week, feels like. Mm -hmm. You've been to see her? She spark out, same as you. Only in an incubator thing. Where's my little superstar, then? Take he don't mean me. Not this time. But I intend to dote whether you like it or not. She is all right, I assume. Oh, she's having a bit of a sleep, that's it. Ah, good. Well, then you can fill us in on all the details till she wakes up. Mm. What happened to recovering from your holidays? Well, when I'm not working, I start thinking. It's not good for me. Oh. If you come about flogging us a fridge, we're all right. Are you still hanging about, then? It's a bit of business. All sorted now. So you're, uh, just passing? I think your dad sussed me out. Oh, so you're not just passing, then? No. I thought I'd see if you fancy a drink. You buy in? Mm. She's working. Well, I'm sure this can wait till the morning. No big rush, eh? <sighs> oh, go on, go on, get lost. I'm gonna lock up early anyway. I'll be two minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, the name avocado apparently comes from the ancient Aztec word for uh, the old dangly bits. Worth remembering that next time you're mashing one up with a fork. <laughs> uh, took us a tomato. Whereas the Italian word pomodoro means golden apple. Although, quite clearly, it isn't golden, nor indeed is it an apple. Now, how weird is that? Fascinating. I'm not being funny, Brenda. But could you possibly indulge me by attempting just a little bit more enthusiasm? You know that money that Terry's been saving up to put towards the being me? Yeah, he's one big chance of living the dream. Well, thank you for that, yeah. Well, he's lent it to me to pay off my debts. And you let him? Well, I couldn't stop him. Do you not think I tried? And what with me not being able to sell the house and I'm, I mean... It's not like I couldn't do with the money, but like you said, yeah, I mean, living, living the dream, the... living the dream, right. Well, has anybody spoken to Louise? Not yet. Time difference. Well, maybe she can hold off until you get the money from the sale of the house. Terry doesn't think she can. Yeah, but you don't know till you asked here. Go on, get her rung up. She might just be saying she's desperate. About the money, you mean. Mind you, it is Louise. <laughs> You weren't you back until next. Call it a pleasant surprise. Don't say anything. Just go. I'll ring you. Have you had a nice time? Uh, you don't by any chance know where Ryan Lamb lives. He's a friend of Nathan's. Just there. Good. Oh, I'll be back. Keep the meter running. Is everything all right? Yeah, couldn't be better. I thought you and I should have a little chat. Prefer to do it in the street? Um, come in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 